I think the people of Charlestown are dealing with a little bit of water trauma. We grew during World War II because of the need to provide ammunition for the war front. And that's our history. And honestly, that boom kind of when it busted, it left a scar, mm -hmm. and that scar was our infrastructure. They had water quality problems with the customers tap for years and years, black water, brown water, lots of legendary pictures, people showing bathtubs full of not good looking water. It really was a problem for customers and, and, and really became a, a, a community wide issue. Charlestown became famous for water quality problems. Water quality has been a major issue for us for decades, and I, there's a whole string of mayors behind me that have wrung their hands in despair wondering what we were going to do to fix it, and even more residents who have been overwhelmingly frustrated about the quality of water that poured from their taps. We thought, well, we, can, we should go talk to them and help offer a solution. We think we can help them with that, because uh, cause that's what we do. So we did, and, and we approached the city, and began some discussions with them about how we could uh, make improvements. And it had reached a point where, I mean, without that assistance, I don't know that we would have had any hope to get it fixed. I'll be the first to admit that, you know, before I became mayor, when the sale of the water utility came about, I was a little apprehensive. I mean, it's scary to think of a, a private company coming in and taking over something that you consider to be one of the biggest resources that you have in a community. I mean, water is life, right? You get some doubters, but I think we've been resolute and we've been pursuing uh, those improvements because we know we can do it. In fact, we have a, a little prop we use to show that. And the current system, the, the temporary plant, removes about a pound per day, a pound, pound and a half per day of manganese. And on, on the one hand, that's, that's really amazing. If this can were full of manganese, we wouldn't want it. On the other hand, that's what would, would go into the whole distribution system in Charlestown. So you think, well, could that really be a problem? It's really a problem. And the water quality problem really relates to a source water problem. The other part of it is the distribution system water quality, a system of pipes that delivers water to people's houses. And there are a lot of issues with the piping system as well. So our approach has been to address both. But the big current event is we're about to break ground on construction of a water treatment plant that'll include filtration. And that's really going to address the problem of the source water. We had an idea to implement a part of the solution on the source water, and that was to install a temporary filtration at the existing plants. I think one of the most rewarding moments for me in my very short term so far has been the relinquishment of my jar of dirty water. Um, you know, I had a resident who brought that to me, a little mason jar full of Charlestown water from his tap within the first, I mean, week of me being in this office. And he dropped it off and he only said, I just, I'm giving you this because I want to remind you of your responsibility to hold Indian American responsible. One of the things that was most rewarding for me was being able to pass that jar off to Matt Prime um, at the ribbon cutting of the temporary treatment plant. Right. And so for me, that was kind of a symbolic uh, move towards that permanent solution. That frees up our time and resources to be able to focus on all those other necessary and also rewarding opportunities for our residents. We can spend more time focusing on programming for our children um, and, and building new parks or improving the parks we have which we've actually been able to do, you know, um, to, to make sure that we're providing all those other resources and opportunities for our residents and welcoming the growth that, that we want to see. A lot of the people have heard, we're going to fix it for a long time. And there's a lot of, I'll believe it when I see it. Well, you can believe it because you will see it. I think that, you know, it's time to put the skepticism aside. It's time to say, you know, that Indian American has kept their promise. And they're gonna to continue to keep that promise. And I would say to the residents that they have my word that I'm gonna to continue to stay in touch with them to make sure um, that we are doing our part to, to help them accomplish their goals. Indian American Water is going to solve the problem in Charlestown. Indiana American Water, we keep life flowing.